everyone. Welcome to IPM Leap. In today's video, we are going to talk about all possible selections in the scenario when objects are identical. So let us suppose you have a fruit basket which has five mangoes, four apples and three guavas. Fruits of any type are identical, which means all mangoes are alike, all apples are alike and so are all guavas. Then in how many ways can you select and this question has two parts. In the first part, we have to find in how many ways can we select one or more fruits out of these? And in the second part, we have to calculate in how many ways can we select at least one fruit of each type. Now, before I start, I will recommend that you watch our lesson on the toy shop along with this one. It will give you better understanding of selections when objects are distinct versus when they are identical. Let's begin with a simpler case to understand the concept of selections when we have identical objects. Consider that you have a bag full of toffees, 10 Cadbury eclairs in total, and someone offers you to have as many as you like. You are delighted, of course, but can you tell me in how many ways can you pick three toffees from the bag? Is your answer 10C3 or is it 1? See, the logic is very simple. Your selection of the three toffees will always look like this, no matter which ones you select. So your answer is one. The number of ways to select R objects out of N identical objects is always one. Now coming to our main question, if you can select as many as you like, how many possibilities exist? So the answer to this question is either I will pick zero toffees or I will pick one toffee or two or three or four or five or so on up till 10. If the given number of toffees is 10, I cannot pick more than 10, right? For picking any particular number of toffees, there exists only one way. So total number of ways in which I can select zero or more toffees out of the given number is 1 plus 1 plus 1 that is 1 added 11 times which is equal to 11. There were 10 toffees you could pick any number from 0 to 10 the count is 11. In general selection of 0 or more objects from a given set of n identical objects can be done in n plus 1 ways. What if you don't want to disappoint your host and you must pick at least one toffee from the bag? No worries, this case of zero toffees is ruled out. Now I can pick any number of toffees from 1 to 10. There is one way for each case. So total 10 ways of picking up toffees if we need to pick up at least one. The general rule is selection of at least one object from a given set of n identical objects can be done in n ways. So now back to our fruit basket, we have five mangoes, four apples and three guavas. So when we select fruits out of the basket, think it out loud. We are essentially selecting some mangoes, any number of mangoes ranging from zero to five and selecting some apples, any number of apples ranging from zero to four. And we can select any number of guavas from zero to three. Mangoes can be selected in six ways, apples in five ways, and guavas in four ways. So by fundamental rule of counting, we can select mangoes and apples and guavas in six into five into four, that is 120 ways. But out of these, exactly one way is such when we selected neither any mango, nor any apple, nor any guava. One into one into one ways of doing that. Zero mango can be selected in only one way. Zero apple also one way and zero guavas one way. So one into one into one ways where we have selected zero fruits. We need to select at least one fruit. So subtract this possibility out of 120. So 120 minus one total 119 ways exist for picking up at least one fruit from the basket. In the next case, we need to pick up at least one fruit of each type. So this is how the numbers change. 
we can select any number of mangoes from 1 to 5 five ways and we can select any number of apples from 1 to 4 four ways and we can select any number of guavas from 1 to 3 three ways therefore at least one mango and at least one apple and at least one guava and means multiply so they can be picked in 5 into 4 into 3 that is 60 ways now let's practice a GMAT level question on the concept. There are four identical pens and seven identical notebooks. In how many ways can a person select at least one object from the set? We have five options for our answer. Let's discuss. The person may select any number of pens that is zero to four pens in five ways. Also, he or she may select any number of notebooks 0 to 7, any number in 8 ways. So the required number is equal to 5 into 8. But exactly one case out of these would be the one where he or she selected 0 pens and 0 notebooks. This is exactly one way out of 40. On subtracting 1 from 40, we get the answer 39. There exist 39 ways of selecting at least one object from this set. Now let's say we have to attempt the same question but this time three different books are also added. In our last lesson we learned about selections out of distinct objects. All three books are distinct and individually any book can be selected in two ways. Either you select it or you reject it. So the person may select any number of books 0 to 3 in two raised part of 3 that is 8 ways. So the required number is 5 into 8 into 8. That is 320 ways of selecting 0 or more items. But exactly one case out of these would be the one where the person selects 0 pens and 0 notebooks and 0 books. There is only one way of selecting none of these items. Therefore, our answer is 320 minus 1. That is 319 ways. So that brings us to an end of this video lesson. If you enjoyed watching this video and found it useful, do press the like button and subscribe our channel for related content. Here is a glimpse of other maths videos on our channel. Stay tuned and take care. Bye-bye.